Good morning, Kipster. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Ooh. Wednesday. It's kind of still cold outside. It's so cold. It's like Arctic snow. I got my scarf and my thick jacket on, y'all. Mm. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna warm things up on Jumpstart mm. today. So I brought a couple special things I wanted to share with you guys. Can Ooh, I show you? Yes. Mm. Okay. So one is my special mind jar, and I'm gonna show you what these things are on the bottom in just a moment. And I brought my special book. We're gonna do this as a read aloud at some point in my class, but it was just this, it's time. It's time we talk about Moody Cow a little bit. Ooh, Moody Cow. Do you guys notice he has steam coming out of his ears? I've been seeing some of my friends, and it, you know what? I want you to know that we all have these moments where we feel like we have, look, and let me show you this picture where we feel like we're so super mad and we just want to go Rah! and sometimes you know what i mean all of us feel that way but here's the thing you know you've been learning we're going to continue to learn mm -hmm. just like moody cow learns is that we all get super mad but it's a choice on how we respond to yeah. that really big emotion that is true it is a choice and i know it can just feel like we just got to roar we got to you know hit things and just uh, we just got to get all the energy out but there's a different way we can do that so i'm going to show you something we're going to pretend that we have our own little mind jar so i want you to imagine we're going to set our little mind jar here to the side and what happens when we get so mad these little sparkles i'm going to shake them up here in a moment can y'all see those pink sparkles there in different ones there's purple there's blue is that we can invite our shanty hogs remember we learned our shanty hog yesterday and our hand hat yesterday or hands on our heart those are all tools we can use including our mindfulness breath but these sparkles are like our angry thoughts that make us want to go raw so we're going to pretend we're going to think of like two three things that have made us so upset so angry this week because you know what things just happen we get mad it's okay everybody gets mad but not everybody's gonna throw a fit not everybody's gonna be throwing things they've got to learn we got to learn how to manage that have control of our emotions and our body and it's what we like it takes time and we're gonna learn this together so again back to the sparkles so think about all two three angry things that happened this week you know somebody just cut me off the other day when I was walking and I was trying to be in line I was so mad at them because I wanted to be in the front of the line and instead of, you know, putting my hands on them or saying unkind words, I remember my Shanti hug and I remember my mind jar. Remember, guys, I said we were going to make this um, sometime this year. So we're going to get to make these special, special gifts. So you're going to take and imagine that your angry thoughts like this little sparkle inside. Remember, our imaginary jars right here. And we're going to throw these sparkles in the jar. We're just going to throw that angry thought. When that person cut me off in line and I was so upset, I'm just put those sparkles in there. And then when somebody said an unkind word to me and it really hurt my heart and I was so upset I wanted to say something unkind back, well, I'm going to just throw some more sparkles in there. And then a couple extras because when somebody says something that's real unkind to Miss Davis, ooh, it just hurts me so much. And I do feel like I have that steam coming out of my ears. But I know that my words can be real hurtful to people. And I don't want to do that. I want to spread love. I want to be one team, one family. So I've got to learn how to control that intense emotion of anger. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with feeling angry. It's just how we have control over it. So what happens is, and I learned this little trick. Moody Cow, by the way, we're going to read this later. But Moody Cow has a grandpa. And grandpa loves mm -hmm. to meditate. Loves to be mindful and takes mindful breaths all the time. So he teaches Moody Cow not to how to not have steam coming out of his ears so much. Mm -hmm. He tells Moody Cow it's okay to be angry. But we've got to learn how to have a calm moment and take some deep breaths. So he made this jar with Moody Cow and they put all these sparkles like I have here. And then you just imagine we were putting sparkles in our own jar. But what happens when we get angry, you guys, is that it, look at these sparkles. I'm going to wow. shake them up. I'm going to shake them up. And we can just stir our anger all up. So I'm going to hold this up. And I want you to look at this jar. You're going to still see the sparkles. So take it. Close your eyes and take a big inhale. And then exhale. I said close your eyes. But I want you guys looking at the jar. I want you watching these sparkles. And you're going to take two more. So you, this is your focal point right here as you're looking at these sparkles. And you notice they're going to go down to the bottom here of this jar. You're going to take two more mindful breaths. Inhale. Long, slow, deep breath in. 
Mm, feels so good. Exhale out. You can even put your hands on your heart. You can do your Shanti hug. Look what's happening as you're taking your mindfulness breaths. You're going to do one more. Inhale. And then exhale slowly. Because we were talking about anger. We might have to take an extra one, okay? But watch. This is your focal point. Look, this jar is almost getting clear. And all these sparkles are down to the bottom. One more inhale. And then exhale. Mm, wrapping it with a Shanti hug. You notice that all these sparkles, you see this, Dr. Marat? They're mm -hmm. almost all down to the bottom. Look at that. In just a couple of minutes, we took our mindfulness breath and watched as we imagined that these sparkles were like our angry thoughts. And they can get all stirred up when people do things like cut us off in line mm -hmm. or say unkind words or they're tattling on us and we get upset or maybe they took something and we just wanna have steam coming out of our ears and maybe wanted, we wanna do something like put our hands on them or say unkind words back, but oh no, we don't wanna do that because that's spreading things that are hurtful. But guess what happens when I say, you know what, I feel angry, I recognize it, I'm gonna take some deep breaths. <gasps> Look at all that, the anger's all the way down here. Remember the sparkles are like our anger and when we take several deep breaths, they're down to the bottom. Anytime, we can stir that up. We can stir that up anytime. We can decide we can make that choice. But guess what? It doesn't feel good. Anytime that someone cuts me off or I want to stir my anger up, I have that steam coming out of my ears like moody cow. You don't want to be a moody cow. You want to be someone that's spreading love, yeah. spreading joy, spreading happiness. Even when things are tough, not everything's going to feel sparkly bright all the time. But you can still spread that love and still be friends. You can still vote each other's victory. And guess what? You can take your mindfulness breath and you know those angry thoughts are going to calm down. When you feel like that steam's coming out, it's okay. But I need you guys, we're all going to work on that together. You're just going to recognize that you have that angry thought. You're going to take those deep breaths. You're going to imagine your own mind jar. Remember, we're going to make these, okay? So everybody's going to have an opportunity to make these eventually with Miss Davis. So I'm giving you like a little teaser here because they're a lot of fun. And again, your angry thoughts, you stir them up anytime, but it does not feel good. It's You get tired. People get upset with you. You can't focus. You can't get your work done. Ooh, you get hot and sweaty. Nobody wants to do that. But you can do your Shanti hug. You can take your mindfulness breath and you can imagine and see all your angry thoughts going to the bottom because you took a moment to take control of your emotions, take control of your body. And so I want to see you guys doing that today. We're going to, um, and not just today, but throughout the week, throughout the year. And when you see somebody that's in the zone, I call it the red zone, y'all. When they're in the red zone, we want to help them get to the green zone. The green zone is calm. The red zone is angry. Sometimes people just need space and we're going to hold each other accountable. Like maybe they just need, you can remember, like, are you being moody cow? Maybe you just need a moment to take your mindfulness breath or your Shanti hug or your hands on your head for your head hat or your hands on your heart. You can remind them of those tools. All right. What do you think, Dr. Moran? I think that's wonderful, Kipsters. And I can't wait to see you guys using these strategies in the classroom today. All right. Have an amazing, it's Wednesday, right? Have an amazing yeah. Wednesday. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.